The day of judgment is very long and many things happen in it. Many events that happen on the day of judgment. And people go through a lot of situations on that day. And we'll divide the situation of people into three. He talks about the situation of the disbelievers, the situation of the Muslims who are sinners, and then he talks about the situation of al-muttaqeen, the righteous. And for tonight we're going to talk about the first section and that is the uh, non-believers. Al-kuffar wal asa wal muttaqoon He divides it into the disbelievers and al-mu'minun al-asa, the believers but who have mixed good and bad. And then al-muttaqeen. For the disbelievers, he divides that into uh, three sections. Number one, he talks about the disgrace and the degradation that the ones who rejected truth go through on the day of judgment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, the day when they come out of their graves quickly as if they are racing to a goal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes when the graves open, people come out rushing from their graves as if they're racing towards a flag or a goal. Everybody's running. But in reality, they're not really running to a particular place. They're running because of the events happening on that day and the fear and the horror. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes this in another ayah. You see the people as if they're drunk. They're running around. They are not drunk. But it's the terror and the horror of the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Consider not that Allah is unaware of that which the wrongdoers do. Many of us, when we see oppression and we see dhulm, we kind of wonder how come this is happening? How could it happen and how could this continue? And how can Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow this to happen? Don't think that Allah is unaware. Allah is aware. Allah knows. Allah sees everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, but He gives them respite up to a day when the eyes will stare in horror. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that their necks are outstretched and their heads are turned back and their eyes are not blinking. Now imagine with me the scene of people who are standing on the Day of Judgment. Their necks are outstretched, their heads are bent up and their eyes are staring up and they're not blinking. They're staring and the eyes cannot blink because you cannot afford a moment of unawareness on that day. The eye is wide open and the eye cannot even blink even though in dunya for all of its life this eye was asleep. But on that day the eye cannot even afford to blink because that is the day in which everything will be revealed and their hearts are empty. We usually refer to, the, to a strong heart as a very, when a heart is very firm and strong, that is a sign of courage. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says on that day that the hearts would be like air, featherweight. Anything that happens around would immediately throw a fear shock in their bodies. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes in another ayah that, is, that their hearts are in their throats, kazameen. There is so much pain inside them, they're about to explode and their hearts are choking their throats. The Day of Judgment, when we talk about it, it seems like something very far away. Something in the future, something unattainable. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in another ayah says, the decree of Allah has arrived. And the decree of Allah in this ayah is referring to the hour, the Day of Judgment. It has arrived. Now we're talking about the Day of Judgment. Pretty soon, all of us here are going to be standing in the Day of Judgment. We're going to be there. 